Welcome back. Uh, we've just got some news in from Manchester. Mike Tyson has knocked uh, Julius Francis down five times in two rounds, and the referee has come in and stopped the fight. So Tyson uh, by TKO over Julius Francis in two rounds. So he might be back. Speaking of coming back, Adam Hamilton uh, is with me this morning, uh, Australia's number one uh, harness racing journalist. Adam, welcome. The Inter Dominion series. Christian Cullen got knocked for six last night, didn't he? And I guess carries under fire in a, in a slightly different way. It's been a bizarre series, this one, Bruce. Uh, who was to possibly predict what happened last night with Christian Cullen? Everybody thought the race was his from Barrier One. He would lead, not be pressured, and sort of run away with the race. But. Uh, as we saw with the Rockleys, you might recall, three years ago in the same race, he was beaten after leading. There's Christian Cullen in front. No real pressure on him, Bruce. Shaker maker outside, the leader. And uh, the, a few of the other key runners back in the field. There's Courage Under Fire, second last on your screen in the uh, in the light blue and white colours. So setting this up, Christian Cullen, the super horse from New Zealand, had won uh, 22 out of 30. Uh, Shaker Maker's won 23 out of 29 sitting outside of him. And Courage Under Fire has been beaten once in 20 five starts and that was at his last one we've got about 600 to go and what looked to be a procession turned out to be a thrilling finish Christian Cutter led two metres Shaker Maker second south third Claimer Kid fourth now safe and sound going three wide Holmes DG's out four deep Taylor made Lombo three back the inside then Breeny's Vella Claimer Kid coming out of the one 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 as they head off the back Christian Cutter led narrowly Shaker Maker's nearly got level here Claimer Kid's out three deep then Saab on the inside of Breeny's Vella a trouble back in the field. Courage under fire. Check by Happy Asset. Shaker Maker's got his nose in front. 28.5 the third quarter. It's Shaker Maker ahead in front of Christian Cullen. Breeny's fella trying to get out. Kaima Kid. It's Shaker Maker. Christian Cullen trying to come back. Shaker Maker and Breeny's fella running on. Shaker Maker. Christian Cullen. Breeny's fella swamping them. Breeny's fella and Craig Demler. It's a blowout in the Victoria Cup. Breeny's fella's coming away. Breeny's fella wins it. Second Shaker Maker. Christian Cullen third. Well, great story. Teddy Demler giving up the drive for his son, Chris, and Brini's fellow we shouldn't underrate. The Inter-Dominion, now, I've been following it all my life as a kid. I mean, it's the Melbourne Cup of Harness. It's like the Australian Open today, but this is a series like none we've had before. No, they've called it sort of an upmarket Inter-Dominion from the point of view that I guess they've catered for the elite horses, Bruce, with the structure of the points. So many more points for running in the Victoria Cup and the Hunter Cup as opposed to just the general Inter-Dom heats. The endeavour is there to attract the best possible field for a $1 million purse. Whether they've achieved that, I don't know, but they've certainly, uh, the results have set the scene for quite a remarkable final. So that race last night was worth $250,000. We had a hundred cup a fortnight ago worth four hundred, dollars And on the same night, we've been having $50,000 heat. So I think the mix has been very successful. Christian Cullen, will he run in the rest of the series? The final's on in a fortnight's time. I think we've seen not only the last of Christian Cullen in this series, but I think he will now be retired, Bruce. Uh, a couple of things with him after last night. I think his tendon played up again in the race, and that has been an ongoing problem for the last 12 months with the horse and also he was coughing Bruce after the race which is a sign that he may have caught a virus that his stable mate Cigar was wiped out of the series with. And quickly with the places who's the favourite for the final now after last night? Probably take your pick, Courage Under Fire or Shaker Maker, which way do you lean? Uh, the draw I think, it'll come down yeah. to the draw, I think they're very even. Uh, Maybe Slug of Gin's there yeah. with a the top chance yeah. as well. And we might see what happens next week. The Trotters series is, is run concurrently and this last night they had the Australasian Trotters Championship as part of the series with $100,000, Lyle Creek successful. He dominated the race, we go to the last lap with him in front. Their final is next week with 500000 Creek the Freak they call him, he's won 14 out of 16. Is he one of the best you've ever seen this horse? I've never seen a trotter do what he has done in such a little period of racing. Uh, I saw him win a restricted class race at Christchurch in November and then you could see there was something pretty special. He hasn't been beaten since then and we're talking about him beating a field which included uh, the past two Inter Dominion winners, feature race winners everywhere. He's a handicapping certainty in the final and could go down as one of the greats of the sport. In Africa, next is Homer Hawk. Third quarter, 28-7. Lyle Creek rounds the turn. Two and a half metres to Mountain Gold. In third spot, battling on special for Sundon's way. And further out was Africa, but Lyle Creek, the freak in front with 100 to go. He's seven or eight metres clear of Sundon's way. Another win coming up for Lyle Creek. What a performance and what a horse.
Lyle Creek, five metres. Second home, Sun Don's Way. Third home on the outside was Africa. I'll tell you one thing, we've had bragging rights over New Zealand last year in sport, but not in harness racing and not in trotting. Their trotters are so much better than ours, it doesn't matter. There was a time there where I wondered if Australia would have a finalist, mm. and uh, they run 14 in the final. So next week, it's the half a million dollar trotters final, Lyle Creek, long odds on, and the week after, the million dollar paces final. That's right. The little bonus next week is that Courage Under Fire and a few of the other big pacing guns will have to go around just to earn enough points to make sure they're in the pacing final. Terrific stuff, Adam. They've had huge crowds out there. We'll see you here next week when we have a look and see if uh, see if the freak continues on his winning way. He will. Good on you, mate. Adam Hamilton. There's a tip, Lyle Creek, for sure, in the Trotters final. A break. More coming up after this. Thank you.